this video is called Stretching Your Model Until the Photo Looks Right, and it's the fourth video in a series of videos for Chapter 7 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. What we have here is a photograph of two buildings side by side mapped to the front face of a little box here in SketchUp. And the way that we actually got here with the photo map to these faces was in some previous videos. Check out adding photos to faces and then stretching a photo over a face here on YouTube to actually see those videos if you like. But we're not going to cover that part in this video. What we are going to cover is trying to deal with how this building looks right now. So the trouble is I mapped a photo of something that is not this proportion to a face that is kind of longer than it is tall like that. And the result is something that looks really stretched. If you look at this guy, he's kind of all stretched in the corner there. This doorway is obviously stretched. What I need to do is make this uh, building front actually proportional. Um, so basically the whole box has to be proportioned so that this photo doesn't look all messed up. And the basic premise is to do this. I'm going to take the select tool and just select the whole thing. And then I'm going to go up to the tools menu and choose scale. I can also get the scale tool by pressing the S key on my keyboard. And then I'm just going to kind of move on one of these grips until I kind of stretch this. And as I kind of look at that, you'll see that I can kind of eyeball it if I want. I can say that looks about right or I don't know, maybe that looks about right. The trouble is I don't have a lot of precision in doing that. So what I happen to to know is that the distance from this corner, the far right corner of the building, to the far left corner should be about 50 feet. Um, I'm just kind of making that up right now, but it's the kind of measurement that you might well know if you were actually modeling a photo to a building, you'd know how big the building was. What I'm going to do is create a guide that I can use the scale tool to um, match to the guide so that I know exactly how wide I'm making this thing. And it's as simple as this. I'm going to take the tape measure tool, I'm going to draw a guide over here exactly 50 feet from the end of the building. Now uh, there's stuff in chapter two of this book about uh, using guides. I think the video is called Making and Using Guides if you want to check that out. Once I have a video 50 feet from the end of my building over here, I'm sorry not a video, once I have a guide 50 feet from the end of the video, uh, from the end of the building, I'm going to select everything, hit S on my keyboard to get the scale tool, and then I'm just going to start scaling this thing. And what I'm going to do to be precise is I'm going to hover over that guide. When I hover on the guide, it's going to bring my scale tool exactly to that guide. And when I click to stop scaling, now I have a building that is exactly 50 feet wide, just like that. And it's just as simple as that. Let's take the eraser and erase that guide. What I've done is taken that box that I'd made and then just scaled the whole thing to the proper width so that my building is actually accurate looking now. If I zoom in, you'll see that everybody looks... Um, about as thin as they're supposed to look. Okay, that is the end of this video, um, scaling your model until the photo looks right for chapter seven of Google SketchUp for Dummies.